Hi everybody. So I'm going to show you how to make this scarf. It's made with the um, side puff stitch. It's one of my favorite stitches. I think it's pretty. And you can always make it um, more rows to make it wider if you want. Or you can start out with more chains to make it longer. But it's pretty long now. I made a really long one. so. But it's up to you. And I also have a pair of matching fingerless gloves made with the stitch so I'll put a link to that too in the description box if you want to make them to match. Um, for this project I used Caron Simply Soft. It's a worst of the way four ply acrylic and the color I used was ombre and it is let me see here 113 grams or 204 yards per skein and I used two full skeins for mine so if you want it wider or bigger you'll definitely have to get another skein but for mine the one I made I used two and then I used a size oh, H which is a five millimeter crochet hook and since I already got my big piece done, I'm just going to show you on a smaller scale how to do that. Um, it's not really a hard stitch. The side puff stitch is done in multiples of two, and then you add one more for the base chain, which means that whatever chain amount you start with, if you start with a number different than me, it needs to be able to be divided by the number two equally, and then you just add one more. Uh, for mine, I started out with a chain of 261 chains. And remember, you can always do it different, a different number if you want. But 261 is what I started with. And once you get your chain made, you want to go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So go ahead and single crochet. And then you want to put one single crochet in every stitch of the chain until you get to the end of the chain. So it's just one single in every stitch. Just like this. Okay, once you make it to the end of your chain, you want to go ahead and chain three and turn your work. And now we're going to go into the next stitch, so not this very, very first one, but this very next one, and double crochet. Like that. And now what we're going to be doing for the puffs is we're going to be working around the post of it, of the double crochet. So with that double crochet that we just made, I'll show you how to do the puff. We're going to yarn over and just go right through and around the whole post like that and draw up a loop and then you want to yarn over and do it again go right around the whole post you see what I'm doing and draw up a loop you want to do that a total of three times so I've done it twice and then again you yarn over go right directly around the whole post and draw up a loop and you should have seven loops on your hook one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to yarn over and we're going to draw through six of them. So we're going to go through and draw through all of them. But this one. And then when you pull up, all of them but the last one. And then when you pull up, you'll have two loops on your hook. Left, you just want to yarn over and go through them two, hoop, two loops like that. So that's one puff done. Now you want to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch you just go ahead and do a double crochet. And that's going to be our next post that we do our next puff on. So I'll show you again here. We're going to yarn over and go right through the whole post right around it and draw up a loop. And you want to do that three times. So that's one, yarn over, that's two, yarn over around the post. And that's three. And you'll have seven loops. You want to yarn over and go through all the loops but the last one. Leave that last one on your hook. Well, 
Make sure you go through all of them. There. And then when you pull up, you'll have two loops left. Yarn over and go through those last two. Just like that. And there's your second puff done. Okay, you want to go ahead and skip the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next. Double. And now we're going to work another puff stitch around this post. So we're going to yarn over, go around the post, drop a loop, yarn over, around the post, drop a loop three times or until you have seven loops on your hook. Like that. And once you have your seven, you yarn over and go through all of them but one. Leave that, go through six of them. Oh. Trying to do it kind of slow and then it gets caught up. I'm trying to do it slow. Okay, and then go ahead and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops that are left on your hook, like that. And that's a repeat for the whole entire row. Skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. Like that. And then we'll do our side puff stitch around this post of this double crochet. So yarn over drop a loop, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, drop a loop, seven loops on my hook, yarn over and go through all of them that are on your hook except for that very last one and then when you pull up you'll have the last one plus the one that was on your hook, two left, yarn over and go through those two. Skip a stitch and double crochet into the next like that and then you just repeat another puff stitch just like that skip a stitch and double crochet into the next now you're just going to repeat this pattern all the way until the end of the row Okay, when you make it to the end of your row, you should have two stitches left. Skip one and go ahead and just do a double crochet into the last stitch. Like that. And then I'll finish that row off. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, now we're going to do a row of single crochet again. And we're going to start in this stitch right here. Not this very, very first one. We're not going to do that. This one right here. And we're going to single crochet like that and now we're going to single crochet in every stitch of the chain so you look there's single crochet from the puff stitch and right here and then there's a single crochet that you have to put on top of that double crochet from the previous row so there'll be one here here's that here's the puff stitch and here's the stitch you need to do a single crochet in and then here was the double crochet that we put in on the previous row. And so you need to go into that and put a single crochet. You want to make sure you get all these. Got to make sure you get them all so the next row isn't lopsided. But just go across and put one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end. I'll go ahead and finish mine out here. And once you make it to the end here, there's, you can look and see there's the double crochet post, single crochet right there. Got a single crochet there. And then you put one single crochet into the top of this chain three on the end. Like that. And that's it. There's that row. Now again, we're just going to chain three and turn. Now from here on out, it's just a repeat of those two rows. So what we do now is we just start again by double crocheting right here in this stitch just like that and that's the post that we start working our puff stitch around so it's a real easy stitch it's a bit time consuming though it did take me I worked on the scarf for actually a couple days because it's pretty long but then you skip a stitch and go to the next stitch and double crochet 
like that. Now you do your puff stitch. Just like we did before. And you just do this all the way to the end. Skip a stitch. And double crochet into the next. Puff stitch. And then when you get to the end, you just do chain one and turn. You do your row of single crochet. Then you do a row of puff stitch. Row of single crochet. Row of puff stitch. So it's pretty easy. Now you remember you can do this for as wide as you want. Just repeating them two rows. I actually did mine for a total of five rows of the puff stitches and I ended in a row of single crochet. Since I began in a row of single crochet, I just ended in a row of single crochet. But if you want to make it a lot wider, that's completely up to you. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. It's actually really pretty easy. And if you want to put pom-poms or fringe at the bottom, you can. I didn't. I just left mine. I actually tried to put pom started to put pom-poms on it, but I liked it better just kind of plain since these are already kind of puffy. But either way that you want to do is fine. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope that you were able to follow along okay. Um, if you make this, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on the my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And please don't forget to check out all my other tutorials on my channel. And until next time, have a good day.